Hello, and welcome to the Strategy Builder Overview. In this video, we'll be going over the following screens within the Strategy Builder. The General screen, Default Properties screen, Additional Data screen, Inputs and Variables screen, Conditions and Actions screen, Stops and Targets screen, and the Finish screen. The Welcome screen is the first screen and starting point in the Strategy Builder. Under the Strategy drop-down menu, you can select New Strategy to create a new strategy. Also under this drop-down menu will be any other strategies that were previously created within the Strategy Builder. You could select your previous strategy and select Next to edit it. In this example, I will select New Strategy and select Next to continue. On the general screen, you'll need to enter a name and description for your strategy. In this example, I will be creating a MA crossover strategy, so I will name it MA crossover. For the description, I will also just enter MA crossover. We can see on the general screen there are now additional buttons available. Press the View Code button at any time to view the builder generated NinjaScript code. Press the Unlock Code button at any time to open the NinjaScript editor and edit your strategy code. Note that once you unlock the code, you'll no longer be able to use the builder to edit your code. Press the Compile button at any time to compile your strategy. Press Next to continue. The Default Properties screen is where you can set the default values for your custom strategy properties. Select More Properties to view additional items to set defaults for. Once the desired defaults have been entered, press Next to continue. The Additional Data screen is where you can optionally select additional instrument data or custom series for your strategy. Selecting Add under Additional Data will open the Data Series window. If you would like to use the same data series as the one the strategy is applied to, check Use Primary Instrument. Otherwise, you can select the desired instrument under Instrument. Next, enter the desired values and select OK. To add a custom series, select Custom Series, then Add. Enter a name for the series, select the series type, and press OK. Once the desired additional data has been entered, select Next to continue. On the Inputs and Variables screen, select Add under Inputs to add an input. For this example, I'll be creating two inputs. The first input will be named FASTMA. The type will be an integer, and by default, I'll set it to a value of 7. I'll leave the minimum value as 1, and under description, I'll just put in fast moving average and select OK. I'll select add once again to add my second input. This one I'll name slow MA. The type once again will be integer. For the default, I'll set to a value of 20. I'll leave the minimum at 1, and for the description, type in slow moving average, and select OK. To add a variable, select Add under Variables. Enter in the desired name, type, and default value, and select OK. Once the desired inputs and variables have been added, select Next to continue. On the Conditions and Action screen, you will define what conditions need to take place for the desired action to occur. Under the drop-down menu, you can select If Any, or if all of the following conditions must be met in order for the action to occur. To add a condition, select Add under Conditions. For our moving average crossover, I'm going to go ahead and select my indicator of SMA. And I'm going to go through here and say that I would like to plot this on the chart. And for the period, I'll select Set, User Input, and this will be my fast MA. I'm going to say when my fast MA crosses above another SMA, I'll plot on the chart. And for the period, I'll use user input 
slow MA, that we want the following condition to occur. So here we can see that as generated code, that when our fast MA crosses above our slow MA, we want the following action to occur. We'll select add under actions. We'll do order management and enter into a long position. To add an additional set of conditions, you can click the plus button next to the set one tab. This time, I'll go through and under conditions, select add. Once again, select indicator, SMA. Change the period to user input fast MA. And this time, we'll say when it crosses below our indicator, SMA. period with a user input of slow that we want to enter into a short position. So under actions, we'll select add, order management, enter short position, and select OK. Once you've added the desired conditions and actions, select next to continue. The stops and target screen allows you to set stop loss, trail stop, and profit target orders that are automatically submitted and managed once your strategy opens a position. Select Add to create a stop and target. Select the type of order that you'd like to place in here and enter in the desired values, then select OK. Once you have added your desired stops and targets, select Next to continue. On the Finish screen, you can click the Finish button to complete your strategy. Thank you for viewing the Strategy Builder Overview.